Sup guys, Hey King here, bringing you a live reaction to the... Wow, that's a bit that's a bit loud, isn't it? Wow, my voice is going a bit... <laughs> on there. No, live reaction to the Resident Evil 3 at Nemesis trailer. I didn't even know this was coming. I read something that something was coming out tomorrow, but it's out now. Today's not Wednesday, is it? Holy shit, it's, it, it's Tuesday, right? It, it is Tuesday, thank god. For a second I thought, like, shit, I need to be at work. <laughs> anyway, guys, here's the trailer. We're gonna watch it now. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's called the Nemesis trailer specifically, so here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ew, he's got a boss squad. Oh, oh. This is Carlos. Lady, I got you. Who are you? What do you do? Carlos. I'm saving you. Okay, that's the introduction. Oh shit! He's on, he's on fire! He's got a mask! Can... I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. Tyro! UBCS for short. UBS, yeah, yeah. Oh, the city so... is completely cut off. Big guy! Isolated. Oh, the civilians! We need help. The civilians on the train. My men cannot do this alone. My men cannot do this. The town's crawling with those freaks. Blade us, Carlos! No chance of Hunters! fighting around the city. Oh god, they look freaky. Why is she here? She's unreliable. It's me he's after. And that Tyrol's I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait! Wait, Joe! It's me he's on. Oh, is that, the, is that a flick? It's a flamethrower! Holy shit! Oh, that's sweet. Is it over? No, no. Oh, are you driving? Oh, Joe, Joe, what happened? Come in. Oh, he's wearing foreskin and April fur. Yeah. Okay, come on. What's the big surprise? Steelbook. And now, give me the steelbook. Give me the still book, fingers crossed. Real sick. Oh, okay, it's just the online game. Seriously, there's 30 seconds left. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pre no, no. I want I want confirmation for a still book. Stop taking a piss. Oh, that was it. Okay, so uh oh that trailer was awesome, guys! So Remember that first image that came out with Nemesis with all the fire and that? People were like, so does he use a flamethrower now? We're like, people were like, no, he doesn't use a flamethrower. It's obviously the gas station, it's exploding. We, they were wrong, okay? He uses a flamethrower now in this version. Uh, whether he gets the uh, rocket launcher later on, I don't know. Maybe it is a trademark of a Nemesis, so maybe he does get the rocket launcher later on. But he does wear a mask at the beginning of the game, and clearly he loses it, and then, you know, we, we get to see his face. I do think that as the game progresses, his face is going to start getting more damage to the point where it starts looking like like the original RE3. So that nose is going to go off and he's going to start having more of a ghastly look. And obviously that stuff is going to get blown off and all the arms and producers and stuff is going to come out. So yeah, this looks really cool. Uh, Tyrell looks like he's going to be part of, uh, of the squad a lot more before he gets killed off. So that's awesome. Uh, we do get to play as Carlos. Obviously we get to play as Carlos, but uh, do we get to play as him as he's investigating the RPD. I'm gonna say yes properly. And uh Nikolai man he looks freaking cool. He looks cool. And no Brad, we didn't see any Brad in this trailer. I don't think. I mean, we didn't see Murphy Seeker, who I'm assuming is only gonna have that one scene maybe. But uh, yeah it does look like you do save civilians and you get them onto the uh subway train but then maybe something goes wrong and they all die or maybe maybe the game does sort of end with you saving people's lives. Like that would be kind of different and cool like like it's not just Joe escaping like she does get to save all of these people People. Anyway, I do want to bring up the fact that the, there was an interview recently a week ago or so that pretty much confirmed there's no multiple endings in this game and then there's no breaching paths and yeah, that's a bit worrying and Mercenary's mode apparently is not in either. Now the interview was kind of done very badly. Uh, I just woke up by the way guys, it's like 4pm right now. Yeah, I sleep really late and I wake up really late so I, I'm just having my breakfast so in this case call this lunch I guess uh, 
the interview was done by an idiot, okay, I'm just going to say, the, it, I think it was the official PlayStation magazine, and the way the interview was done was, there was a lot of uh, wrong information, so we don't know how accurate it is, for all we know, multiple endings are actually still in, and reaching paths are still in, but if it's not, that's a very, very bad sign for this remake, because... I'm gonna do this quick. It's basically the same problem that Remake 2 had, okay? They 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 ignored a lot of the story lawn from the original game. And uh obviously they cut the scenarios. I mean, yeah, we did get like Leon 1, Claire 1, whatever, instead of B. But the point is the way the zapping system worked in the original RE2, that was not implemented at all in Resident Evil 2 Remake. And one of the things that makes Resident Evil 3 unique is the whole breaching paths and decisions and that. Because if you go in one location, you end up getting this cutscene. If you go uh, in this location, enemies will be harder. If you defeat this enemy early on, he'll be easier to beat in the next encounter. Etc, etc. So there's always these little things. Like if you, get, if you pick up this card, you end up getting a magnum. If you pick up this, if you go all the way there and pick up this card, you get the grenade launcher in the police station. So it's, it's all about those little things that made the original game so worth replaying all the time and that apparently has been scrapped for a more liner uh, version and okay I don't mind if it's going to be liner I don't my problem is are they going to ignore the canon again like like they, they did with Resident Evil 2 Remake because if, you, if you've played Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles it pretty much 100% tells you that Leon B and Claire A. Claire A and Leon B is the canon version, not Leon A and Claire B. Whatever anyone tells you, like, oh, it's a it's a mix and match of all the different scenarios is bullshit. It's bullshit, okay? It is it is 100% bullshit, okay? The canon scenario for Resident Evil 2 has always been Claire A and Leon B, as much as I hate that version of the canon scenario. But uh, with Remake, they kind of, they basically went and did, uh, Leon A and Claire A. They didn't do any of the B scenario parts, so that's why the story is so bloody modelled with Annette having like two different death scenes and that, so it makes no sense. Now, with Resident Evil 3, that, that, that's not going to be a problem because you only play one character as Jill and, and Carlos in certain segments, so there's no way for them to sort of uh, ruin that up. My problem is, is the fact that there's two different endings and the main official ending is that Nikolai gets on the helicopter. Now, we don't know if he escapes or he gets killed by Jill. The point is, he gets on the helicopter that they're supposed to get on, but he steals it. And the main ending is Barry coming in and saving them. So are, they, are we going to get that canon ending, or are we going to get the uh, good ending and not the true ending? And that's the problem, right? Because they've already sort of screwed up with the Law 1 story in Resident Evil 2 Remake, so I'm, I don't want to see that happen with, re, with 3. Because 3 is one of my favourite games. It's probably my favourite one out of the original re trilogy of, of the Resident Evil games on PS1, so... But anyway, guys, uh, that's just my complaint there. Um, overall, I liked what I saw. I can't wait to see more. Uh, this game couldn't come out fast enough. And I'm so happy I just got up and I wrapped it to this. So anyway, guys, as always, like and subscribe wherever. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.